feel it now. It's all around me. A silent voice I can't deny. A mother's Teachers, at least applaud them. Teachers means those through whom Bab Dada's features are visible. From their eyes and from their every word, my Baba and lovely Baba should be experienced. People should not see the teachers, but Bab Dada should be visible in the teachers. They are like that, and Bab Dada is telling each teacher, move forward. And while enabling others to move forward, continue to make them equal to the Father. Bar teachers were. Bab Dada is seeing the fruit of your effort. The fruit of your efforts is visible. Very good. Now each one of you should try to make the future visible through your features. The lamps of hope should be visible. Our kingdom is now about to come. The zeal and enthusiasm should be visible in the features of each and every one. Very good. Teachers. Baba is praising teachers and telling everyone to clap hands for them. To become teacher, just like the father, is a blessing. Not everyone has that luck of becoming teacher. When we come to Baba, he knows everything about us. Those aspects of our personality which are even unknown to us. The other side of our personality, the dark side, the unconscious side. He knows our capacities, our capabilities, our potential. Even though we have never told anything to him, Jesus Christ knew Judas right from beginning. He chose twelve disciples and he knew from the beginning that one of them would deceive him. Yet Judas was chosen because he knew 
Jesus knew it's a part of divine and he cooperated with the divine. It was his compassionate spirit which allowed Judas to be with him for some time. So also Gautama Buddha knew Devdatta right from the beginning. Still he allowed him. It was his compassionate spirit. God knows everything about us. Every aspect of our personality. Those problems of ours. Real problems. About which we ourselves are not knowledgeable. And we keep on posing in front of him some problems. And we say, his answers don't give me any solution or his answers are not the answers which I want. This is the problem of my life and this is the answer given by God. And we say his answers don't match. Probably he has not understood my question. But then Baba knows your real problems. What you are posing as your problem are not problems at all. They are pseudo problems. Because you yourself do not know your own disease. What you are saying that I am suffering from this. And the doctor is offering me this treatment. This is wrong treatment. How will I get cured with such a absurd treatment? This is the question of my life. This is the problem of my life. And you say that all answers are in Mudli. But these answers are unrelated to my problem. But do you really know your own disease? No. We are unaware of our own sicknesses. The unconscious diseases. The patterns which we have formed in the mind. And they remain as they are. And something else we pose as problems. And then we get frustrated. Baba says, do this. And we say, this is our problem. How can doing this help me to get out of the problem? But as I said, he knows everything. All aspects of your personality, your real problems. Not the problems which you say are problems. Because you yourself do not know your disease. Only God knows your disease. So he is the supreme teacher. But he is also the supreme physician. He knows where the shoe is pinching. So there is nothing. No aspect of our personality which is hidden from him. He knows our unconscious past, the dark. What is visible on the surface is just one ninth. The nine parts are below the surface. This one ninth is above the iceberg. Baba knows these deeper aspects of our personality. And he wants to solve these problems. You say this is my problem and that is my problem. He doesn't pay much attention to these. Because he knows that. These are not your real problems. Because you really do not know your own problems. Your real disease is here. In today's Murli, Baba said, Just remember me. In the remembrance, everything is included. If you know me, you will know everything. And if you don't remember me, Last line of today's Murli. You will remember every other thing. In my remembrance is everything. And if you don't remember me, you will remember all other things of the world. I am the living seed of this tree. I know everything. So Baba is supreme teacher. And he doesn't create followers. He creates teachers, leaders. Brahma Kumaris is the factory of leaders where the leaders are produced in huge number. 
where there is a production of leaders so god doesn't produce followers he doesn't want followers rather jesus had 12 followers who were trustworthy maybe 100 lay followers and maybe 1000 sympathizers who sympathized with him who felt he is a good man but when christ was jesus was crucified there was nobody there even the 12 disciples they ran away they were fearful or or they were so weak that they could not resist or protest so this man died in obscurity nobody knew him but when god comes on earth he creates teachers because he himself is teacher what he does he wants us to do so here baba is talking with teachers of russia teachers are those in whom are visible the features of god teachers are those who would show the future so to be a teacher is a new life to be a teacher is a new sanyas to be a teacher is a new birth so teacher means the old has gone has died and the new has taken birth teacher become should become a mirror hmm. baba says in when people see you they should not see you but father should be visible in you you should disappear and father should become and father should appear so teacher means to be a mirror mirror that should reflect god but to be a mirror you need to become clean clear no guilt consciousness no traces of sin no remnants of past no debris of past traumatic or sinful memories so how to become a mirror hmm our life should become a mirror mirror means very clean mirror means truthful honest if there is a dishonesty when people look at you or people see you they should feel that uh, this is the man of god this is the woman of god this is the soul of truth no uncleanliness no nothing to hide you stark naked truthful to the core without any double mindedness so honesty cleanliness purity of heart of emotions full of silence and not questions the person who is full of questions cannot achieve the highest there was a surgeon in europe his name was dr abernathy he was a scottish surgeon he was a man of few words he would hardly speak his speech was telegraphic you know telegraph very less so what happened once a lady came to him a patient and she was also a man of his his match taciturn silent speaking only that much which is needed that's it so she had an inflamed hand and swollen so this was the dialogue between these two the doctor asked burn she said bruise he said poultice apply bandage that's it that is the conversation the next day woman called again and the dialogue was better she said worse he said more poultice more bandage two days later the woman made another call and the conversation was better she said well fee how is the fee 
he said nothing most sensible women i ever met so only this much talk this is known as telegraphic speech otherwise if you ask somebody how are you he's you have to stop him <laughs> one whole paragraph or an essay if you ask any patient what is your problem they keep on telling and telling and telling and telling and when that is when they even go out of opd again they come out again they come back and say this is forgotten this is also there <laughs> so they have a huge list of things i remember a lady once we admitted in the hospital long back so she first she came in the opd i asked her what is your problem so she took out a paper they were she started reading i said enough enough we will better admit you <laughs> because she was not stopping at all and she was extremely willing so next day in the rounds when we asked her now tell then she took out that paper again and they were about 40 in numbers and she started telling each one of them this happens this happens this happens this happens and every day when we would ask her then at least two were gone and 38 were remaining and then 36 were remaining so when it was a time after one week again when it was a time for discharge and everything was well but yet 10 were remaining <laughs> so <laughs> so you know we have this habit unconscious habit of describing things in great details and most of our speech is worthless useless when we talk with god this is also so much exchange of words and there is a word pollution speech pollution god himself is the ocean of silence so we are lost in words in the jungle of words to be with him to be with god is to enjoy that silence let's words fall down and only silence remain you know when two sounds meet what is the result more sound when two silence meet the result is silence god is ocean of silence he also become an ocean of silence no words no thoughts just be in his presence in his divine company in his divine silence and fill the soul with that silence teacher is somebody who does not answer all the questions rather teacher is somebody who destroys the question guru stu monam vyakhyanam shishyastu chinna sanshaya guru is sitting mon silent the disciples are sitting thousands in number and what is the speech guru stu monam vyakhyanam the vyakhyan the speech is of silence the guru is not speaking at all the disciples are sitting and none of them is asking any questions but shishya stu chinna sanshaya their doubts their suspicions their questions are getting answered just by that silence so teacher is somebody who will not answer all the questions of students but by her silence by his silence he would drive away dispel the darkness of questions because wherever there are questions there is there are darkness there are two types of dark nights amavas one amavas night is outside another amavas another dark night is within us that is arising out of agyana so one night is outside another night is within us to dispel this darkness of ignorance is the job of teacher in today's blessing baba said what happens when you become knowledgeable so teacher is somebody who has taken a new birth teacher is somebody whose life is new a new sanyasa teacher is somebody who has surrendered herself teacher is somebody who has become a mirror teacher is somebody who has become a uh, somebody who is who is reflecting god where god is visible where future is visible where nothing is hidden that mirror which is clean clear honest teacher is somebody 
who is an embodiment of silence teacher is somebody who is having telegraphic speech teacher is somebody who destroys the questions with her silence so be a teacher like god and be intimately linked with that ocean of silence om shanti om shanti teachers at least upload them teachers means those through whom bab dada's features are visible from their eyes and from their every word my baba and lovely baba should be experienced people should not see the teachers but bab dada should be visible in the teachers they are like that and bab dada is telling each teacher move forward and while enabling others to move forward continue to make them equal to the father wa teachers wa baba is seeing the fruit of your efforts the fruit of your efforts is visible very good now each one of you should try to make the future visible through your features the lamp of hopes the lamp of hope should be visible our kingdom is now about to come this zeal and enthusiasm should be visible and features of each and ev- every one very good avikta murli 24th october 2013 om shanti